Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is a part two video of the 3D compass animation. If you haven't watched the first part, please do so before continuing. We did this animation in our previous video. In this video, we will finish the animation. Let's add a background image. Now drag this layer under the all layers. Now apply the flip layer effect to this layer. You can find this effect in 3D section. Here change the axis value to 90 degrees. Now adjust the angle value as shown. Now fit this image into the canvas size. Now go to Effects and Expand Flip Layer Effect. At the first frame of this layer, add the Angle keyframe. Move to this frame and add another one. At this keyframe, change the angle value to 0 degrees. Make this animation faster to slower. Let's add one more background image. Now we have to match the background's positions. Now drag this layer under the all layers. As you can see, we lost here. Let's fix this by using position keyframes. Use the same curve that we used for flip animation. Now select all layers except the last layer and group them. Now at this frame, add a mark. Move here and add one more mark. Move to the first mark and add a rectangle shape. Now fit this shape into the canvas size. Tap on edit shape, add a size keyframe here. Add one more at the second mark. Now at the first keyframe, change the size's Y axis value to 0%. Now make this animation easy in and ease out. Now make it as a group layer. Now apply the turbulence displace effect. You can find this effect in Distortion and Warp section. Now we have something like this. Let's trim it here. Now select these two layers and tap on the Exclusion icon for masking. Let's add the remaining project assets. Let's drag it here. Let's keep these layers aside and hide them for a moment. Now we have to match this circle size to the compass size. Here I added one more image, guys. Now drag this layers here. Now we will add a null object. Now parent these three layers with the null object. Let's extend these layers duration. Now at this frame, add the scale keyframe to the null object. Move one second forward and add another one. At this keyframe, decrease the scale as shown. Now edit these keyframe curves as shown. Now bring it here, unhide it. Now add the scale keyframe at the first frame of this layer. Move one second forward and add another one. At these two scale keyframes, add the rotation keyframes also. At the first rotation keyframe, change the rotation value to 360 degrees. Now decrease the scale at the first scale keyframe. Now edit these keyframe curves as shown. Drag it above the BG layer.
Let me adjust these layers size a little bit. Now parent this layer to the null object. Now at this frame, add the position keyframe to the null object. Move one second forward and change the null object position as shown. Now edit these keyframe curves as shown. Let's apply the motion blur effect to the numbers layer. Keep the blur strength to 0.6%. Now at this frame, add the opacity keyframe to the BG layer. Move one second forward and decrease the opacity value to 30 or 40%. Now edit these keyframe curves as shown. Let's change the project BG color to the black Now unhide this layer. Let's adjust the scale. Now drag it above the BG layer. Now here add the vector drawing tool. Draw a shape as I am showing in the video. Now select the all points and create the keyframe for every point. Move 20 frames forward and repeat the keyframes. Now at the first keyframes, adjust these points as shown. Now make this animation easy in and ease out. Let me adjust these points positions a little bit more. In this way, we have to create total seven shapes.
Let's apply the blur effect for feather the edges. Keep the blur strength to 0.05%. Now copy this effect and paste it on the remaining shapes. Now select all these shape layers and group them. Now select the grouped shapes layer and color wheel layer and tap on the masking icon for masking. Now we have something like this. Parent this color wheel layer to the null object. Let's adjust the scale of the color wheel layer. Let's trim it. Now create the rotation animation to the indicator layer. Now unparent the number layer from the null object. Also unparent the color wheel layer, we will parent them later. Now group the numbers layer and the color wheel layer. Now parent this layer to the null object. Now select the color wheel group layer and tap on the edit group. Here bring the color wheel layer to the top. Now we need to adjust the pivot point position to the center of the color wheel, otherwise we don't get the perfect rotation animation. Now create the rotation animation as I'm showing in the video. Now add two marks at these two keyframes. Apply the motion tile effect to the BG layer. You can find this effect in distortion and warp section. We will adjust the tile values later. First add a scale keyframe to the BG layer at the first mark. Now at the second mark, decrease the scale as shown. Now edit these keyframe curves as shown. Now open the tiles properties. Here enable the mirror option. That's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Also, comment below to let me know whose editing you would like me to recreate.